There are a lot to think about when it comes to buying hydrangea. Whether you are picking out individual flowers or buying a whole bunch, I have 5 tips to make your hydrangea shopping easy and successful. Tip number one, hydrangeas with white crosses in the center of the flowers should be avoided because the petals fall off easily. They also frequently come with unnaturally dyed fabric petals that fray easily. Personally, I would not purchase them unless I need to build a tall backdrop on a tight budget. Tip number two, for realism, choose two-tone petals with printed veins. Examine the petals carefully. The more colors on a single petal, the more realistic it appears. Tip number three, choose the appropriate size of the flower heads based on the size of the arrangement you intend to create. Go big for tall centerpieces and use small ones for bouquets. Before we get to tips number 4 and 5, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want more tips and hacks on making wedding flowers with stiff flowers. You may also want to tap the like button which will let the YouTube algorithm know you want to watch more videos like this and will give you much better recommendations. Tip number 4 for tall centerpieces, buy hydrangea with leaves. You may be tempted to save money by purchasing flower heads with skewer-like stems. Believe me, the leaves are crucial to creating a deceptively natural appearance. Make sure the prints on the leaves are nicely printed. Tip number five, mix different colors and sizes for realism and a natural garden look. A hydrangea can have multiple bloom colors on the same bush. Mix hydrangeas of similar shades or even different colors and sizes with lots of leaves for maximum realism in large arrangements and installations. Now that I've shared a few things to look out for when shopping for hydrangeas, are you certain you have what it takes to order some nice flowers? Check out this video to learn more about what to look for when shopping for silk flowers to avoid purchasing unrealistic silk flowers. I'll see you in the next video.